Hello everyone, I am Dr. Deepa. Today we learn about the scapula region. The scapula region mainly includes the muscles attached to the scapula and the nerves and vessels related to it. The scapula region mainly includes the following set of muscles that is the deltoid, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres major, teres minor and subscapularis. Even though the scapular region is strictly associated with the muscles that is deltoid, supraspinatus, infraspinatus and teres minor, we have additional two muscles that is subscapularis and teres major over here. I have already explained in detail about the deltoid in our previous video. We will look for the rest of our muscles in this video today. As we all know, the first very first muscle of the scapula region, the deltoid, which mainly is responsible for the round counter of the shoulder. Beneath the deltoid hidden is the rest of the muscles. Firstly, moving on to the very first muscle that is supraspinatus. This supraspinatus is the muscle of the scapula which takes its origin from the supraspinous fossa over the scapula. Above the spine of the scapula over here we can see the origin of this muscle is from the medial two-third of the supraspinous fossa as well as few fibers also take its origin from the fascia covering the muscle. This muscle once it is arising from the suprascapular fossa runs laterally to reach the humerus, the upper end of the humerus that is over the greater tubercle. So the insertion of the supraspinatus is over the upper impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Now the second muscle that is infraspinatus over here. As the name itself says infra that is below spinatus, spine, beneath the spine or below the spine. This infraspinatus muscle takes its origin from the medial two-third of the infraspinous fossa along with the deep fascia covering it. The muscle is seen ascending upwards and laterally to reach the greater tubercle. The muscle gets inserted over the middle impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. So, this is about the two muscles that is supraspinatus and infraspinatus. Next, we will look for the muscle that is subscapularis. The subscapularis is the muscle of the scapula which is taking origin from the subscapular fossa which is present over the costal surface of the scapula. The medial two-third of the subscapular fossa give origin to the muscle that is subscapularis. The muscle is seen running upwards and laterally to reach the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Yes, the insertion of this muscle subscapularis is over the lesser tubercle of the humerus. So, this is about the attachment of the muscle subscapularis. So, this is a very beautiful picture, very easy to understand the attachments of the muscles here. The supraspinatus from the medial two-third of the supraspinous fossa reaching the greater tubercle. Infraspinatus from the medial two-third of the infraspinous fossa again reaching the greater tubercle. Now, this greater tubercle when you look for receives the insertion of three muscles here as the name given over here. The supraspinatus over the upper impression, infraspinatus in the middle impression and there is a muscle called a sterus minor which occupies a lower impression of the greater tubercle. Now next moving on to the teres muscles that is teres major and teres minor. The teres major muscle takes its origin from the lateral border 
yes the origin of this teres major muscle is from the lateral border of the scapula that is the lower one third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula i repeat lower one third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula gives origin to the muscle that is teres major the insertion of this teres major muscle is over the intertubercular sulcus that is the medial lip of the intertubercular sulcus yes the medial lip of the intertubercular sulcus receives the insertion of the muscle that is teres major moving on to the minor muscle that is teres minor we can see the attachment of teres minor again over the lateral border but it occupies the upper two third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula i repeat upper two third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula runs upward to to reach the lower most impression of the greater tubercle so these are the attachments of the two teres muscles that is teres major and teres minor both muscles taking its origin from the lateral border the upper two third is occupied by the minor muscle the lower one third is occupied by the major muscle now here we can see the attachments of the greater tubercle here the greater tubercle receives the insertion of three muscle that is supraspinatus infraspinatus and teres minor yes i t this is how we can remember it in a easier way so s yes stands for supra i stands for infraspinatus and t stands for the minor that is teres minor muscle so this is about the muscles this picture shows the attachments of the muscle as i have already discussed that is subscapularis which takes its origin from the entire medial to third of the subscapular fossa and insertion is over the lesser tubercle yes insertion is over the lesser tubercle so lesser tubercle gives attachment to only one muscle that is subscapularis this subscapular muscle is the example of the multipinnate muscle where the muscle fibers is seen arranged through various fibrous septae the another example of the multipinnate muscle here in the scapula region is the acromial fibers of the deltoid yes the acromial fibers of the deltoid and the subscapularis are the examples of multipinnate muscle in this region now here this picture shows the attachment of the supraspinatus muscle over the greater tubercle the infraspinatus muscle we can very easily make out from the back here so these are the teres muscle that is teres minor reaching the greater tubercle the subscapularis muscle reaching the lesser tubercle over here so these muscles that is there is something called as rotator cuff muscle that is also called as the musculotendinous cuff of the shoulder which is a thick fibrous sheath formed by the four flat tendons which blend with the capsule of the shoulder joint and strengthens it the four muscles which is involved in making up of the musculotendinous cuff or also called as the rotator cuff are number 1 supraspinatus infraspinatus second the subscapularis and the teres minor muscle yes these are the four muscles i repeat supraspinatus infraspinatus subscapularis and teres minor these are the four muscles which is making up the rotator cuff of the shoulder region which blends with the capsule of the shoulder joint and strengthens the shoulder joint hence the shoulder joint is strengthened by these four muscles making up a cuff except inferiorly so the inferior part of the shoulder joint is weakened this is one of the reason very important reason for the dislocation of the shoulder joint 
which is most commonly seen inferiorly. So this is again the muscles which can be seen. This is the major muscle. This is the minor muscle here. Yes. This picture showing the attachment of the teres major muscle. Now this is a very beautiful diagram showing the muscles which is making up the rotator cuff of the shoulder joint. This green represents the fibrous capsule. So all the muscles merge with the fibrous capsule to reach the, their respective insertion. Moving on to the nerve supply and the actions of the scapular muscles. Yes. The supraspinatus is the main muscle involved in the initial abduction of the shoulder. That is, initial abduction up to 15 degrees is mainly contributed by the muscle that is supraspinatus. The infraspinatus and teres minor, these are the lateral rotators of the shoulder. Yes, the lateral rotation is contributed by the infraspinatus and the teres minor muscle. The teres major as well as the subscapularis are the muscles which are involved in the adduction and the medial rotation of the arm. Yes, the medial rotation and the adduction is contributed by the muscles teres major and the subscapularis. As the nerve supply, when we look for the nerve supply, the supraspinatus and infraspinatus are supplied by the suprascapular nerve with the root value C5 to 6. Teres minor is supplied by the axillary nerve. Teres major is supplied by the lower subscapular nerve and subscapularis is supplied by the nerve of the same name that is subscapular nerve. So this is about the muscles of the scapular region. Thank you so much. Bye.